getting in trouble. Has to give it up for three. Buries it. There's Lachey Page. I don't know that Johnson was getting in trouble as much as he was forcing the defense to come to him. And that left Page wide open. His best look of the afternoon. Tenth lead change. And Summer Miss has the basketball again. Here comes Watson to the hole. The scoop. We've got a whistle and a foul as Mills comes down with a loose ball. I'm telling you, Mills has really been a factor since he's entered the game in the second half, particularly with his offensive rebounding. Watch as the defense, all the defense is in the lane. Nobody's out here on Lachey Page, and because the defense is in the lane, Page has a wide open look, and he is an outstanding three-point shooter. That's a deep, deep three. He was almost in the bench, but... Just enough on the court that it counts. You know, he's more than doubled his average from last year. Terrence Henry, by the way, was whistled for the last foul. He's going to have to go out with his third personal foul. And Mills hands it back to Watson. And Mills has been the key factor here in the second half for Southern Miss. Total workhorse. Watch this guy for Jonathan Mills. The big shot blockers are back there, but he uses his body to shield them off. Forty-seven, forty-four. The Golden Eagles have taken the lead. Jonathan Mills in the ball game has been the workhorse, and he ups the advantage for Southern Miss to three. The two run. They've retaken the advantage. Forty-seven to forty-four. Thirteen thirty left to play. In the ball game, good crowd out hand. School is out here in Hattiesburg. They had graduation yesterday, as I mentioned earlier. A lot of people showing up. Southern Miss stays in the man-to-man. Summers hands it to Nelson inside, and a bucking foul will be called. We mentioned when he entered the ball game off the bench in the first half, Dundreek is Nelson. His job is to take the ball and shoot it. That time he drove the ball very hard to the goal. Picked up the foul. Tomorrow on Fox NFL Sunday, the Redskins take on the NFC East leading Giants. So the Packers look to stay undefeated as they battle the Chiefs. Or you might see one of these games where the Lions head to Oakland to take on the Raiders as both teams look to keep their playoff hopes alive. Coverage begins tomorrow with the Bill Ford Tough Fox NFL Sunday pregame show. Noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Check your local listings for the game in your area. They're not going to get the ball across the half court. They <laughs> really did. Watson, and he'll back it out. Nope, stepped on the line. Remember, we showed you that last three point shot, and we said he was almost on top of the bench. That time, he was, the court's only 50 feet wide, and he yeah. was about 50 feet four inches over there. Now, that's only the fifth turnover for the Golden Eagles this afternoon. Seven minutes gone by here in the second half. Summers gives it up. Nelson buries the three. I mean, he's come in the game and scored five straight points, and now they've got the lead back. Seven straight games, double figures for Dundrikas Nelson. Here's that 2-3 zone again. Johnson just throws it in the hands of White. Left his feet that time. Usually he does a better job when he's in traffic, keeping his feet so he has some options. That's just a defensive breakdown right there. Pelham was found himself matched up against Summers, and he wanted to switch with, Antone, uh, with uh, Angelo Johnson, and they just weren't able to do it efficiently. This is what we're talking about. Johnson bounces out on him, but Summers does a great job seeing that Johnson's feet aren't set and drives by him. Johnson, I think, is still bothered by that cramp. He wants to come out of the game, but it's one of those situations where Larry, yeah. Larry eustace has got his back turned. He's not even looking. He doesn't want Johnson out of the game. He's trying to work that out. And it's a three-point Ole Miss lead as we head close to 12 to play in the ball game. Ole Miss has won the last two between these two teams. A bit more aggressive in that zone defense trying to trap the ball. Watson, Bolden, buries it. 
Maurice Bolden out of Jackson, Mississippi's got six. And Bolden has been relatively quiet offensively. He comes in averaging almost 13 a game, and he's been able to find the opening in that zone. That time he shot the ball with more confidence than we've seen earlier. On the drive by White, we've got a whistle and a foul. We also have a timeout. 50 to 49 is our score. Ole Miss leading Southern Miss. Even rebounding, but look what he does to off the court, guys. He told me he just loves working with kids, and he's gone and done free basketball clinics with the Boys and Girls Club. He works with special needs children at a local elementary school, and you know how he started doing that? He told me he was jogging to and from practice, which is impressive enough in my <laughs> mind, but. He happened to run past where he saw those special needs kids and decided it made him feel so good to put a smile on their face that he wanted to go and be a part of that. So really a young man who cares an awful lot about making a positive impact on the youth in the community. We had only six hours away from graduating. An exceptional young man. Kudos to Maurice Bolden of Southern Miss. Ron, one of the keys to this game is that Old Miss is now 12 for 15 shooting free throws, and they came in basically as a horrible oh. free throw shooting team. And Summer Miss turns it over again, stepping out. That is their seventh turnover of the ball game. This pressure has bothered Southern Miss here a couple on a couple of occasions in the second half. He just steps out of bounds. Yeah. But Ole Miss comes into the game shooting 57% as a team from the free throw line. They've been 12 of 15 today, and that has been a big factor in their five point and their three point lead. Excuse me. And there you see the free throws. Only six attempted by Southern Miss. One thing that this Ole Miss team does: they compete. They play hard every play. All the way, tough shot, rebound again. Buddy Mills. Johnson gives it up. is not the kind of a guy that's going to pull the trigger quickly on that three-point shot that Page is. And he did! Lachey Page with a three, the fourth tie of the ball game. Watson shoots that YMCA set shot from the three-point range, <laughs> not Page. He rises up and nails it. Well, Page had 30 versus Colorado State. He can go it up quickly. So can Nelson. Oh, that is one heck one of a play by Manager. By, by heavens. They have the common sense. While he's up in the air. Tied at 52, just about halfway through the final stanza. Henry sizing up the D. Nelson, what a quick move off balance, yes! Now, how did he do that? <laughs> I There's a the technical, first foul, technical foul just called on Larry Station. Well, the first crossover was pretty good. Larry Station thought he walked, but that's not. No, he's falling down and banks it in. Larry Station thought he walked, and that was why Larry got upset and got himself a technical foul. And Nelson with 16 points, and Eustachie wants a little more of an explanation. Nelson tries to pick up point number 17. Again, Nelson. Uh, Larry Stacy has a point. <laughs> he did shuffle those feet yep. before he took off to the basket. That's a really hard, hard call to make, and Larry Stacy has called a timeout. But he did shuffle those feet. We can see it very clearly in the replay. Of course, the referees are looking at it live and right at full speed. And Lachey Page, I think he's going to be a big factor as we head down the stretch here. They've done a very nice job against him defensively. They haven't given him many open looks from three, and that's where he's the most dangerous. To see if Southern Miss can answer. They're down now by three. Nice job, Holloway, jumping out on defense. Good defense by Ole Miss. Johnson from deep in the corner, and he's got the three. Angelo Johnson. And that was with Holloway right in his face. That wasn't one of those wide open threes. This big move by Summers can't get it. Mills with the rebound. Five ties in the ball game. Whistle, no basket, but we have a foul as Watson took a hard shot. 
Mills has been such a factor on the Absolutely. boards here in the second half. He got a rebound there and met great outlet pass that enabled them to get the fast break started. 